Hey, you guys. Okay, several people have asked me how I play Fortnite on my Steam Deck. So, as you can see by the title, in this video I will go over how I do this. I actually think there are several ways to do this, but well, as you can already see, right here it already says Xbox Cloud Gaming. In my specific case, this is just a boring grey box. Personally, I did not customize this with an Xbox logo, but you can actually do that. So, okay, as you can see, I plugged in my mouse and keyboard. You do not have to plug in a mouse and keyboard to do this. I mean, a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard work as well on a Steam Deck, but I personally don't have my Bluetooth keyboard here at home with me. So, in order to do this, you first have to go into the desktop mode. So once you are in the desktop mode, in order to do this, you have to go here to the discover icon. Then you go to internet. And in here you can find Microsoft Edge. Or just type in Edge and it will come on right away. So in order to install this, you first just have to click on it and then click on install. Now as I have personally already installed this, on my Steam Deck it says launch. So yes, if you have never done things like this before on your Steam Deck, this is indeed how it looks. These are indeed the steps you have to take. And then yes, on here, it will say install. So then when you have installed Microsoft Edge, you have to go to this application launcher. Then search for Edge, then right click on it. And then you have to click on add to Steam. Now once you have done that, you, again, have to go to the application launcher. Then you go to system and then click on console. So right here, you are going to enter this. I will also attach this in the description box below. So, once you have entered this, you just press enter. Now, I'm not going to do this right now as I have already done this. But after pressing enter, you just close this. So now, you are going to open up your Steam library. So, you go here to this Steam icon. And then click library. Then on the left side, you are going to search for Microsoft Edge. Now in my case, I already renamed it to Xbox Cloud Gaming, but also on your end, it will have a gray square on the left side. So yes, on your end, at this point, it will be called Microsoft Edge. So then you have to right click on it and then choose properties. So right here is where you can rename it. And also right next to it here, you can actually click on the gray square or the gray icon. And this is the part where you can customize it to have an actual Xbox 
logo. I have been doing this in the past, but as of right now, I don't fully know how to do this anymore, but it's not very difficult. You can just download or save an Xbox logo by Googling it, and then you can indeed very easily in here customize it. But unfortunately, at least in my case, this cloud gaming thing just stopped working automatically after some time. So that's why I had to set it back up again. And I just did not feel like customizing the logo again. Personally, I feel like, well, as long as it's called Xbox Cloud Gaming, then at least I know what it is, you know? Okay, so then... Over here, in Launch Options, you have to go all the way to the end. So, as you can see, I have already entered the right line or the right code. So, also this one I will attach in the description box below. But I will also add it right now on screen. So this is the line or code that you will have to enter here. But bear in mind, you have to do this after the at at double point. After this at at double point, you first have to enter a space, you know, with your space bar and then the line or code. So once you have done that, you can just close this window and then you can simply go back to the Steam OS and that's basically all you have to do so indeed in my case it is just this boring grey box but In your case, you will first have to log in with your account, of course. But yeah, once you have done that, you can just search for Fortnite in here. And then you can just start cloud gaming it. As Fortnite is the only game you can cloud game or stream for free. So, yeah, it's fairly simple. Now, personally, I'm not a pro when it comes to all of the settings and stuff like that. I assumed that once you have a great internet connection, that it would just work fine and that it will never crash. But, yeah, in my previous video, you have been able to see that it did start crashing after all. So I'm not fully sure what the deal is with that. But yeah, it basically works just fine. So I guess that's it for this video. Like I said, I am not a pro when it comes to, you know, everything. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, it's fairly simple. So as always, I will see you guys very soon.